If you have an email list that sits outside of MailChimp, whether that's a spreadsheet that you update manually or a list that's created through your website, you will need to import that list into MailChimp in order to start sending out email campaigns to those email subscribers. In this MailChimp tutorial, I'll show you how to add contacts to your audiences using two different methods. The first one is by uploading a CSV file, which you can create using Excel or Google Sheets, or simply by copying and pasting the information straight into MailChimp. So we'll go ahead and get right into it. We're going to head on up to audience. From there, you'll be taken straight to the audience dashboard. And you'll notice that over on the far right, there is a drop down here that says manage audience. From there, we'll click on import contacts. And as you can see here, there are a few different methods to choose from. So today we are going to be manually updating or adding contacts to our audience again by uploading a CSV file or simply copying and pasting the information. So the first one that we'll pick is the upload a file option here. We're going to hit continue. And in order to upload your file, you're going to have to go to either Google Sheets or Excel, save as a CSV file, and then go back to MailChimp and upload the file. So if you're doing it from Excel, you're going to go to file, and then save as. And then for the file format, we're going to select CSV. So we'll go ahead and click save. And like I mentioned before, you can also use Google Sheets if you'd rather. And for Google Sheets, again, we'll go to file, but instead of save as, we'll go to download. And then we'll download as a .csv here. So now that we've gone ahead and saved the file, we'll head on back to MailChimp, click on Browse, select the file, and then upload it. So as you can see here, the file has been uploaded. And next, we'll hit Continue to Organize. And then we'll go ahead and select a status for all of the new contacts. Now, in this case, they are all subscribed, so I will leave it as is. Now, depending on your list, you may have other options here. So in our signup form, we have a section where it says, you know, what are you interested in? Just so that we have a better idea as to what kind of content we should be sending each subscriber. So if we knew that these contacts, for example, were interested in digital marketing, we could check that off in this case here. So go ahead and use your discretion depending on what your options are here. And then at the bottom, we have update any existing contacts. So this is going to overwrite any existing contacts that you may have already added to the list. And it says that MailChimp will automatically replace their information. It is often a good idea to check this off just so that you have the latest information from your customers or your clients. Hit continue to tag to move on to the next section here. If you'd like to add a tag to your contacts, you can certainly do so here. However, if you're just adding them to the audience in general, you can skip this part and hit continue to match. MailChimp will go through your file and basically detect all of the different columns and what they are for. And it looks like our email address column is okay, but something funny happened to the first name and last name columns. So we're gonna go ahead and hit the edit icon here. That column is for the first name. I don't see first name here, so I'll create a new field. And data type can remain as text. We'll go ahead and hit confirm. And then we'll do the same thing for the last name column as well. So again, we'll give it a label. We'll keep it as text again and hit confirm. So now that the error messages are gone, we'll finalize the import. And here we've got a bit of a summary. It says 25 contacts will be updated or added to your audience. The import method was file upload. We said that they are all subscribed. We want to update the existing contacts if necessary. We've added them to the digital marketing group. And we skipped the tag section. We haven't tagged them with anything in that section. So if that all looks good to you, you can go ahead and complete the import. And there we have it.
We've updated zero contacts because none of them existed before this. And we've added 25 new contacts to our audience. So that takes care of the CSV file upload method. I'm going to go back and show you how to do the simple copy and paste method. Select import contacts from that drop down again. And this time we're going to hit copy and paste. I'll go ahead and use the same list as the first time, but maybe this time I'll make a few changes on the fly, just so that you can see what happens when we try uploading contact information that's been changed. All right, so we've gone ahead and made a few changes to the contact information. Next, we'll select the list. I'm gonna hit copy, of course, control or command C there. And then we'll head on back to MailChimp and simply paste the information. So similar to the first method, we'll hit continue to organize. They will all be marked as subscribed. I'll add them to the digital marketing section again, and then we'll make sure to hit that update any existing contacts checkbox. So again, we'll go to continue to tag. You can add tags here if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and skip it. We'll then hit continue to match. Everything looks good here. We don't have any um, error messages this time. Hit the finalize import button. Here we have a summary again. So the 25 contacts will be updated or added. The method this time is copy and paste. Their status is subscribed. And we would definitely like to update the existing contact information if necessary. They've been added to the digital marketing group here. And we haven't added any tags at all. So if that looks okay to you, we'll go ahead and hit complete import. And we're done. It says your import was successful. And because these contacts weren't new, they were existing contacts and we were just updating their information. It says we've updated 25 contacts in your audience. And there you have it. You now know how to import your contacts into MailChimp. For more MailChimp tutorials and email marketing videos, be sure to subscribe to the eStore Kings YouTube channel.